Day three of the World Championship Barbecue Cooking Contest coming to an end tonight. <laughs> Dozens of teams competing down by the river downtown all night long. Good evening, I'm Joe Burke. And I'm Joy Redman. It is also, Joe, the last day before we find out who will be this year's grand champion. Action News 5's Bria Bolden back at Tom Lee Park tonight. She joins us live now with more. Hey, Bri. Hey guys, well, you know, today is the last day before awards come out for Grand Champion and awards for Hulk Hog, Ribs, and Shoulder. We talked to some teams today and they gave us a sneak peek at what they're cooking up, hoping to bring home the win tomorrow. Teams cooking for their last chance to take home a win for the big three, Ribs, Shoulder, and Whole Hog. What did you put on it? Can you tell us? Is there a rub on it? Is it the sauce? What it, is it? Just know it's my own recipe. Teams are keeping their secrets close to the chest, though. Like 17-year-old Richard Forrest. He's one of the youngest cooks participating this year and says his love for cooking comes from his father. He had me in the arm um, just shoveling coals until I got like a older age. So I was able to cook and stuff. The World Championship Barbecue Cooking Contest bringing people around the world together and brings out some healthy competition between family. As my husband, uh, Carrie Bringle from Peg Leg Porker, um, has a team a few doors down and we just, we beat him a few years ago. We want to beat him again. Delania Bringle and her team competing for the fourth year in a row and hope their whole hog gets a win tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, it's a lot of work. I mean, Karen raised the hog and then we get it here and we tear it down and get it on there. And then the whole team helped. It was massive. But any team you run into will tell you the same thing. It's about more than winning. Just the, the friendship and the, and the family we have here. That means more to us than, than the trophies. I mean, don't get me wrong. We're here to, to battle for a trophy, but we're also here to have fun. Whether you're from the Mid-South or not, <laughs> teams keep coming back to Memphis every year, joining in on the food, friendship, and so much more. It's a good way for us to get together, you know, being from Oklahoma here. I actually live in Chattanooga, so it's a perfect meeting place, and we enjoy hanging out in Memphis. And what happens here in Mexico, in the U.S., in, in Malaysia, in Japan, in China, in Brazil, far united, there's no borders, there's no language. I mean, this is the same for all. So awards for anything but pork, hot wings, and sauces went out today. We will have a list of winners on our website. Just look for this story. And guys, tomorrow's a big day. Tomorrow is judging day. Gates here at Tom Lee Park open at 10 a.m. tomorrow morning. Reporting live from Tom Lee Park tonight, Bria Bolden, Action News 5. All right, Bria, so in case you just missed what she said, tomorrow is judging day for the World Championship Barbecue Cooking Contest. And there are tons of events and demos happening all day leading up to the big one, the award ceremony at 6.30 tomorrow evening. We have ticket information for you and an event schedule on our website, actionnews5.com. Also tomorrow, almost two dozen teams will compete in the Patio Porkers Barbecue Competition on Beale Street. The Patio Porkers Competition was formerly part of the Memphis in May World Championship Barbecue Cooking Competition, but was dropped due to space limitations of the redesigned Tom Lee Park. In addition to the new location, Beale Street restaurants will compete for the title of Rib King. So these are the individual restaurants going up against each other. This is a one-day cook-off with prizes awarded at 6 p.m. Saturday.